All right, this is Seth Lake here with a floor flight tutorial on how to set up weight and balance profile for the uh, Beechcraft Travel Air, uh, specifically the uh, Travel Air that I do my training in. Uh, so, notice that I already have 677 Quebec, which is the Travel Air I, I have already have that loaded. So I'm going to go up here and create a, a new one. So we'll call this uh, 677 Quebec Quebec. That doesn't exist, so it'll it'll let us make a whole new one. Now, uh, for unit length, we're gonna go to inches. Uh, we're gonna be set in pounds, and we're gonna go fuel in gallons. So we'll hit next. 100 low lead is perfect. Uh, now it's gonna let us check our stations. So we need front seat, we need more uh, seat options. Uh, we have a baggage area and we need more baggage choices. We have fuel tanks and we need more fuel choices. All right, we need aft seats. That's what we're gonna add here. And we need nose compartment baggage. That's what we need there. We need ox fuel tanks for that. Uh, and now we're gonna enter in the empty data uh, for the plane. So the empty data for 677 Quebec is 2725 and the empty CG is 77.2. So that gives us our uh, 210 370 for the moment and hit next. So it uh, four flight tells us hey it, it doesn't didn't set everything up so we need to do some work to this. So here we go to our um, six 77 Quebec Quebec let's see where did it go can't find it oh there it is at the very bottom all right so we have these warnings that uh four flight gives us right here these notices we're going to fix that by filling all of this stuff out so we're going to go over here and let's uh give it a profile name we're just going to call it uh test profile because we don't want to accidentally uh, use this in the future. Here you would put the tail number 677 Quebec, uh, name it whatever you want. It's a uh, BE95 would be the make um, and uh, model is, or make is Beechcraft and model is BE95. Uh, all right, so we have our additional, let's see, we're going to go straight to our stations. So we have to set the arms for each of our stations. So front seat arm is going to be 85 inches. So eight five, save that. Our aft seats are going to be 121 inches, one, two, one. And I'm pulling this out of the uh, flight manual. Uh, the baggage area, uh, that's the rear baggage area. So I would like to go ahead and specify that. Rear baggage area is going to be 140 inches. Save that. Our nose baggage area is going to be uh, 31 inches. And uh, let's go ahead and set the limit. I'm gonna have to go back and set the limit for the uh, rear baggage, but they're both 270 pound limits. So rear baggage area, we're gonna add the limit of 270. There we go. Fuel tanks, these are the main fuel tanks. So let's go ahead and specify that, main fuel tanks. The arm is 75 inches, and the gallon, we have a 50 gallon limit on the mains. Save that. Ox fuel tanks. Arm is 93, and we have 62 gallon limit. Save that. All right, so all of our stations are set up properly. Uh, now for our weight limit is 4,000 pounds across the board. So for takeoff, ramp, landing, and zero fuel are all 4,000. All right, we got that done. Now we need to set the uh, forward CG limits. We need three forward limits. We only have two by default. So we're going to go down here and tap edit and add new forward point. And we'll go ahead and add that as 75, yeah, let's go ahead and add 75 inches and 3,200. Save that. 
the one above that, or let's see, we hit done. And then the one above that, we're going to set to 75 inches and 3480, save that. This one, we're going to set to 79.4 inches with a weight of 4,000 pounds. And the aft CG limits, we're going to set at 83 inches, 4,000 pounds, and 83 inches for 3,200 pounds. Save that. All right, so notice that we have a green label up here. So that means everything is set up. We're gonna go to load now, and we're gonna set up a test load of a pilot. Let's see, let's make our pilot weigh uh, 180 pounds. Our co-pilot is 180 pounds. Our rear baggage area has 20 pounds and our main fuel tanks. So main fuel tanks, remember we had a 50 gallon, so let's say we've, we've got full fuel. So we're gonna have 50 pounds. Uh, in the air, we're gonna burn 25, well, 25 gallons. And on the ground, we are going to burn uh, two gallons. All right, and then our ox fuel, let's say we've got uh, another 50 gallons in the oxes, and we're going to burn uh, 30 gallons, and we're not gonna have any ground consumption. So now you can see uh, our landing. Our landing is the square, takeoff is the circle, so taking off within limits, landing within limits, and this is our zero fuel, which is below weight, but it's within the, uh, the CG limits. And aircraft is loaded within limits. Sweet. So if it wasn't loaded within limits, let's say we have a 200-pound passenger and another 200-pound passenger. There we go. So we've got four adults and... We are outside of the envelope, and it tells us out of balance and overweight. And here's our notices. The CG is too far aft. We're overweight by 105 pounds, and we're overweight for the takeoff by 93 pounds. So we could adjust fuel and uh, switch around who's sitting where to try to fix that problem. Uh, but ForeFlight kind of gives us an idea of, of how to fix it. So that is how to set up the weight and balance profile for November 6, 7, 7, Quebec.